Oh, hello there. Is this um, the Dorchester Hotel in London? Yes. I um, hope you're having a nice day. I'm trying my best anyway. <laughs> I'm thinking of staying in your fine hotel. I have quite a large family. And I wondered what's the A, the minimum, the B, the maximum, and I suppose the mean amount of people that you're allowed to put in a room, uh, safely, obviously. Okay. Uh, well, with that said, um, the, the maximum is three. The minimum is three. The, well, the, the minimum is, is obviously uh, is one, but the maximum would be three uh, per room. I suppose in theory the minimum is naught because you could always pay for the room and not turn up. No, that's certainly correct. I wouldn't do that. I'd waste everyone's time. <laughs> but you, you get the message. I do, certainly. Now, my family's large. There's 33 of us in total. Would we be able to have... How many rooms is that if you divide that by three? Fifteen rooms? <laughs> What's 33 divided by 3 people? 15? See, I think that would bring it to... 15. Uh, it'd be roughly uh, 11 rooms, I guess. Are we allowed to bring pets? Because my daughter... Do you know her? Um, and Well, her name's is married now. Margaret Hepworth. She's one of the country's leading experts on swans. And she's giving a talk on the BBC next week. We're travelling down from Worcester. To, um, she would like to keep the swan. It's in a cage before she gets picked up. That's why we're all there to celebrate, because before she goes on the BBC show to talk about swans. Can she keep a swan in, uh, in, in one of the 15 rooms? Let me double-check and see, um, see what we would do about that. Give me just one moment. I beg your pardon? I, I said I'm not really sure what the, what the policy on that would be. Let me uh, double check with the manager and let me see what, what we, the word on that would be. Thank you very much. Madam? Yes? I do apologize. I just want to double check. See I'm we... terribly sorry, but uh, I'm not a madam, I'm a man. Oh, I do apologize. It's fine, I have this reg regularly. I hurt my throat recently. Okay. It was actually the swan <laughs> that did it, oh. um, but it's in a cage. Well, I just want to double check what we could do, and unfortunately, um, the, the word is that we wouldn't be able to accept a swan. Um, we actually don't even allow dogs or cats or anything of that nature, and so with that said, the, uh, the swan is excluded as well. I see. Would we be able to keep the swan in the grounds? Um, say we put a tent around it to, so no one saw but it would be in a cage. The swan and the rat would be in the cage. Oh. Because the swan's... Part of it is the companionship between the swan and the rat. You may have seen the photograph in the Sunday Times. Um, I actually... I, I but they're, but basically, swans would normally probably eat a rat or the rat. But they befriended each other from captivity, and it's part of a BBC uh, Pet Awareness Week. And the swan and the rat, um, they live together in the cage, but if we put them outside rather than inside. Would you ask the manager if we could possibly do that? Because it is a large number of rooms. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't believe so, uh, with that said, because I don't think there's any way that they would be able to, because we really don't have any, if you will, grounds to really... Oh, could it be kept away uh, in a larder in the kitchen or something like that? I, unfortunately, I, I have to say no to that. Right. As far as I'm aware that there's not been done, and of course I don't think that's... Uh, I, I don't it is an unusual request, I suppose. But to me, because we've stayed in hotels before. But I don't think there'd be anything that we could really do no. that one. I, and I really, I wish I had offered a suggestion as well as what we, as what alternatively we could do. Um, but unfortunately, I really can't come up with anything. This is quite a unique situation, I understand. So it's... Um, it's a quandary, isn't it? It's a little bit, certainly. Yes. So I'm wondering if possibly... Now, I know, I'm not sure how far away it would be, but I do know that some... Uh, there are kind of like, I don't know, I, forget how, I want to call it like a, a pet hotel or something like that. I do know there are places that kind of do that sort of service. Well, once we took a swan to uh, one, funny enough, in Swanage, um, but it came back bitten, nibbled, and uh, in such a state. It was expressing a lot of pus, uh, it was uh, bleeding, its feathers were sunder. And we vowed never to go there again, but I, I wouldn't suggest it was the same place that you're... Well, actually, I, I was just... I, I actually don't... Uh, would be able to refer a particular one. Now, we could talk to concierge and see if they had some... Fantastic. Could you put me through to them? Thank you so much. I certainly can. Thank you. This is a question. Can I help you? 
I wonder if you can. I was speaking to a very kind gentleman before. Okay. And who recommended you highly. Okay. How can I help you, sir? I'm looking for, I suppose it's a Swan and Rat Hotel. Let me explain. I'm booking 15 rooms in your hotel for my family, my extended family. My daughter, Margaret Hepworth, is a leading expert on swans. She's on the BBC next week on uh, the Pet Awareness Week. Do you know of it? No, I don't, sir. She has this remarkable story of a swan. She has grown... Hello? Yes, I'm here. I'm listening. In captivity with a rat. Normally, there would be deadly foes in nature. They have become great friends. And, anyway, there to be on BBC, interviewed by Martin Parnell. Yeah, absolutely, sir. And the concierge, obviously, we're going to book the 15 rooms. But before we do, he said um, he couldn't guarantee the swan safety nor the rat safety inside the hotel. Which is fair enough, because it is a bit of a... Um, Hello? It's a bit of a... What's the word? Unusual? Unusual, yes. Okay. But um, we've stayed in your hotel before, okay. several years ago, actually, when my wife... Um, so, the, the, the answer to my question, your question, is he said that you may know of a pet hotel where the swan and... Well, there's actually five swans and five rats. Five now, is it, sir? There's five swans and yeah. five rats. Really I said rats? one because you didn't want to tell him there were so many. But there's five swans and five rats in a cage, a large cage. I mean, it's been certified by the British Vet Association. Um, which hotel would be able to put up swans and rats? I have not, not, not in central London, so I can, so I can find a, uh, a pet... Uh, Is it a swannery, a rattery? No, no, there is such a thing, sir. Mm. Let's take your name and phone number. I'll call you back, sir. Well, that is a hard thing, because I'm in and out of the country, and I'm at my sister's house, but she has diabetes, and she can't use the phone, and she won't let me use the phone, because she's 85. Um, so it's, uh, it's Hold on a second. So she will allow, allow you to... No, phone. she won't. So I'm phoning, but she won't... It doesn't accept incoming calls, because she's had it... What phone are you calling from now, sir? I'm phoning from her, for her house, but I can't... The phone, it doesn't accept incoming fo- oh, yes. calls because of her diabetes. You have a mobile phone, I, I can call you back. Um, uh, I, I would, uh, well, my sister has one. Hold on, let me ask her. Yes. Sandra, Sandra? Yes? Do you have a mobile phone? Sandra, do you have a mobile phone? What? Yes, I do. I do, I think. What I need is a number, Do you Don't need to get up. No, no, no. It's... It's, um, it's still in Dorset, I think. No, your mobile phone, no, not your one in your house phone. No, I in Dorset. No, I'm just terribly sorry. One second, I'll get you the phone. She, she, I don't know what she's talking about. You do have the phone. Yes, I do. I've left it in my house. No, it's your house phone. Your house, think. Yeah, Put your medicine down for one moment. I'm terribly sorry about this. That's all right. Okay, so you go ahead. What is the number of your phone? No, put it down! I think there's a period of three, four... There's two... Three, four, the numbers were three, four, four, four. Four, oh, four. Four, oh, four. Three, four. Hello? She's just not... I'm I'm not getting any sense out of her. Why don't you call me back when you have the, the, the correct phone number? I will do so. I'm terribly sorry to waste any of your time. I'm That's sure okay. you're very busy, but you've been very, very, very... Um, patient? Patient. That's fine with the, um, re- with the, uh, the uh, swan and the rat. But, um, if you I beg your pardon? What? You call me back. Um, Did you say you can get a room for the swan and the rat? No, I didn't say that. Sir. No, oh, I'm so no, sorry, my hopes were lifted. Sorry? My hopes were lifted. Your hopes were lifted? I'm talking to the man. Thank you so much. Thank you. All the best. Have a good day, sir.